Alright, so here you go. I got a a fish hole and a plant hole. Um, actually, me and my wife actually like the fork tail rainbows. I got six of them. That's the price, and that's how they packaged it. Upside down catfish, four of them. That's the price. Then the plants, we got uh, baby tear. One of them, we got one the glosso super red wigia two of those I got mint charlie's one the sablada I got two of those then we I got three of the dwarf sabladas so I'm gonna get this stuff unpackaged and I'll explain to you the packaging because I'm not too sure because I don't have a chance to watch them I was doing something else um uh, all right, I'm going to get these uh, acclimated, and I will get back to you. All right, bye. Okay, so here, here's the plants. I've rinsed them and took them out. Uh, this long one here, this one, is the Mint Charlie. If you look real close, they have flowers on it. <clears throat> then... These three are the dwarf sablada, and then that's the, the bigger ones, the regular sabladas. That is the baby tears. This is the, the short one here. It is the only abbreviated glosso. And this is the super red Luigia. So these three are going to go to my wife's work. She's going to put them in her tank. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I'm going to put these in my tanks here. So alright, stay tuned. The uh, fish are still acclimating. So it's going to take a minute. It's because of the way they packaged them. And I'll explain that whenever we look at the fish. Stay tuned. Alright, so then here's the four upside down catfish. They have been acclimated. Now we're going to get them to come out. They're pretty. Some's darker, some's lighter. There's one, two, three, and four. Let me get this net out of the way and let them swim around and get some footage. They're only going to be in this uh, tank for a little while. Just till I get another tank set up for them. They get a decent size. They're just juveniles right now. But there you go. That's the upside down catfish. Stay tuned for the next ones. Alright, so here's the six fork, fork tail rainbows. I, uh... I got three and three. Uh, we're gonna put them in this tub with the mystery snails and they should do pretty well in here. But eventually, I got two tanks set up now. But I'm quarantining them in here, which they'll be fine. They're pretty healthy. So, here we go, get a look at them. Yeah, they look pretty good. get them out of here they must really like the net so yeah they're doing pretty well so I'm going to show you something here uh, this is how they bagged it so first they used this bag to put the fish in it and then they set it in a brown paper bag they set inside the brown paper bag and set, when they filled it up with water, they set it inside this bag. And then they filled it up with oxygen and tied it, tied it off. So I thought that was pretty good. But there's two of them right there. Uh, one's a male and one's a female. I'm going to let these guys relax for a while. Let them get uh, de-stressed or whatnot. 
and uh, let me get their tank set up for them. Get them out of here. Get them in a. I'm gonna put them in a 20, I think. And they're still juvies, so we'll give them a few months. See if we can get eggs, and I can learn how to raise their fry. But uh, all right. I want to thank everybody for taking time out of their night to watch this video. Y'all have a good night and a good day tomorrow. Goodbye.